Here is the latest from K2 Radio News. A Casper man's case, stemming from decades-old charges, has been bound over to Natrona County District Court. 44-year-old Albert Goddard was arrested last March on a criminal warrant. He's currently out of jail on a $7,500 cash or surety bond. Goddard is presumed innocent unless proven guilty. Court records show that in the early hours of August 18th of 1999, deputies from the Natrona County Sheriff's Office, along with Mills Police Officers and Fire Units, were called to Countryside Court for a reported arson. According to statements made at the scene, a Molotov cocktail had been thrown through the window of a mobile home with two children and six adults inside. One of the victims took her nine-month-old child to the hospital to be treated. She took the other child with her as well. The other five victims did not need medical attention. Investigators did find the cocktail inside the trailer on top of a sofa sleeper. Around midnight, before the arson, allegedly an altercation had taken place outside the mobile home. Parties dispersed, with some going to a party at another location. And that is where an alleged plan was hatched to make the incendiary device. At one point in the investigation, Goddard, then around 19 years old, admitted to officers that he had siphoned the gas out of his vehicle and into an empty 40. The affidavit says several of the partygoers were then rallied to go back to the countryside court in three to four cars to finish the fight that had been started earlier. Participants said that they had seen the bottle on the kitchen counter before going back to the mobile home, but didn't believe that it would actually be used. At about 3.36 a.m., witnesses claimed that another person, whose name we have left out due to being a minor at the time, threw the cocktail at the trailer, but it instead landed on the grass. Then another person picked it up and threw it through the window. That's echoed by the victims, who all heard a thud on the side of the trailer, and seconds later the window broke and the furniture ignited. Trona County court records don't show any arson charges for the other young adults listed as possibly involved in the case, even though the affidavit suggests that it wasn't Goddard who actually threw the cocktail through the mobile home's window. He still faces 20 years in prison if convicted for the charges. He's being charged with arson and conspiracy to commit arson. He waived his preliminary hearing and he will next appear for an arraignment scheduled tentatively on May 29th. This is a developing story and we will update when more facts of the case are known. The president and CEO of the Greater Cheyenne Chamber of Commerce says that a planned project to replace the Minuteman three nuclear missiles affiliated with F.E. Warren Air Force Base will boost the local economy for years to come. In fact, he says the project will create thousands of jobs and pump billions of dollars into the local economy over the next decade or so. The current Minuteman three nuclear missiles are slated to be replaced with the Sentinel intercontinental ballistic missiles as an upgrade to the nation's nuclear deterrent. Steinberger says the Sentinel system has already been approved for implementation once, but because it turned out to be more expensive than originally expected, by 37 percent, the higher cost triggered what is known as Nunn-McCurdy review. But Steinberger says that he expects the process to be complete in June, adding that he doesn't think any problems will stem from that. He says it would take something pretty drastic to halt the project. Steinberger thinks the total project's cost will come in around $130 to $140 billion nationally, Lefee Warren is one of the three nuclear missile bases in the nation expected to receive a portion of that money. And while the direct economic impact on the local economy is unknown, he estimates that it'll pump about $7 billion into the economy over the next decade or so. In other news, congratulations to local resident Carol Chapman for publishing her first book. It's called Finding the Good, A Journey Through Love, Loss, and Living. It's a memoir about her journey of learning to take care of her husband when he was diagnosed with a glioblastoma brain tumor. She will be celebrating the book on May 7th from 4 to 6 p.m. at 109 East 2nd Street in downtown Casper. She plans to attend, to be there to share her stories firsthand. It'll also be a chance to get a signed copy of her book. Reporting from Casper, this is Colby Feeder.